that afterwards. Uh, but we're in now, and uh, I think we're, this will be the final game of... This will be. Well, if they don't restart, that is, it will be the final game of, uh, of the Clash of the Tyrants. As I keep calling it, because I forget the name of this tournament. It's the Tyrant Wars. Uh, it will be the last game now. Uh, the 12th and final game of uh, this tournament. It's uh, <laughs> It's been, a, it's been a, a long one. There's been a lot of games involved. There's been a hell of a lot of, uh, of long ones as well, as they say. But, a lot um, of clothing items have been lost throughout this. Yeah, I mean, if, if you've been watching from the start, I imagine most of you are pretty much <laughs> naked right now. Um, <laughs> Following the example I've been setting, of course. Of course. And, uh, yeah, like, great. Like, the 1,300 stream viewers, you guys are amazing. Um, so... Kick ass. Kiss, kick ass, indeed. So, kick anyway, ass. let's see who we've got. And, uh, for time A right here, in the blue, over to the left of the map, playing as the Chinese for possibly the final time tonight, or today, is, uh, Cap. And up to his north, in the teal, playing as the Mayans, we have Doubt. Up to the very north of the map, in the yellow, we have the Viper playing as the Huns. And finally, last but not least, over on the other yes. side in the flank position, is Fire in green as the Mongols. And to the flank side for Tyrant B, the opposing team, we have Jordan23 playing in the grey as the Mongols. His pocket, of course, going to be Bashirfro in the orange playing as the Mayans. The other pocket for Tyrant B being Riot in the red as the Huns. And the final flank for Tyrant B being at Slam, playing as the Chinese in purple. Yeah, and the score is 5-6 at the moment. So we're talking like, well, what, one point in it. And this is the final game. If Tyrant A win this, the prize pool is going to be split 50-50. If Tyrant B take the win, then they can deprave Tyrant A of a little bit more cash and get a little bit more for themselves. So uh, it's still all to play for, and I really like that format of this tournament. Yeah, it's been really interesting so far. Of course, for those who haven't seen it yet or haven't read anything into it, instead of having a winning team take the entire prize money, depending on the amount of wins you get, is how much percentage of the prize money you get. Of course, if it is at 6-6 six, six at the end of this, the prize money is going to go 50-50 and both teams are going to have the exact same. Yeah, uh, interesting though, it's going to be a restart here for Jordan23 right now. Slam, probably not going to be very happy about that, but it's going to be a re... And... Um, well, that just sucks, but we got to go back. And anyway, bring yeah, out the music. <laughs> called it. Yeah, we can put the music back on, so that's good. That's a good thing, I guess. All right. I don't know. What we got? It's back in there with the music. <laughs> I didn't even fade it in. It's just like, bam, music. Back. <laughs> people in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this song is excellent. <laughs> just so much wallalo. Do we have the uh, vote up again? That's my question. I want to know how people are leaning. Oh yeah, uh, people are leaning towards Tyrant A still. 498 votes today. Wow, that is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's amazing. The last game coming up in just a sec. <laughs> Of course, we're just holding up until we get this last game on the road. There was a restart there, and of course, we're just waiting on spec delay now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just gotta wait for that. And unfortunately, restarts happen, and I just love it. Every time this stream comes, uh, every time this song comes on, everyone's just like, "Whoa, <laughs> it's that's brilliant. exactly what we want. Keep it active. Keep it in. It's brilliant. I was gonna say informative, but that's definitely not informative. Yeah, exactly. No chance of putting a, a slow chat on. Not today. <laughs> Day. This is the one, guys. This is the last chance you're going to have to spam the chat for the Tyrant game. There we go. All right, well, we're in now. And, uh, well, we can play some more of these remixes afterwards. But for now, we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, we're back in, and I hope we don't get another restart, because uh, I really do want this to be the last game. I want to go for a walk. Yes. Uh, well, <laughs> and I need to have a shower. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So badly. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, right, let's uh, let's introduce the players and keep our fingers crossed for a no-restart game. Uh, so, for Tyrant A here, uh, the very south of the map, playing in the blue, we have got Cap in, uh, playing as Chinese. Uh, we've got over to his right, Doubt, for Tyrant A, playing as the Mayans in Teal. 
uh, up to the far right of the map in the yellow is Viper playing yes. as the Huns. And finally for Tyrant A on the flank position is Fire in green playing as the Mongols. To the opposite side of the map, playing in the orange, we have Batchofro as the Mayans, as the flank position for Tyrant B. Tyrant B having Slam in the purple as the Chinese in the pocket position. Pocket as well for Jordan 23 as the Mongols in black or grey, I guess. And last but not least for Tyrant B, we have Riot in red playing as the Huns in flank position. Yeah, um, they... Previously, Tyrant B just used their restart, and now re regretting that, I think, because he's got no wood. It's quite far away, and, uh, well, he's either going to go all the way back or all the way to the front. And, uh, obviously, that's not going to be good for him, as especially as he's on the flank here. So, I'm a little bit concerned for him, but we don't yeah. know if the other team is going to do a restart yet. Definitely, that's going to be the question we are asking. And flanking positions, we have Bachelor of Fro versus Cab, and we have Riot versus Fire. Opinion. Oh, okay. Um, Riot versus Fire, I think, is going to be pretty close. Uh, both of them just excellent players, and uh, both Brazilians as well. So, you know, not going to have any difference there in time zone. So they're both going to be kind of at the same performance level. Not like Slam, who's at like 7am, not slept yet. <laughs> so um, I think we're going to see an interesting fight at the top. But obviously with Riot's map, it's it's not looking good for him already. I mean, Sivwise, Huns versus uh, Mongols as well. Uh, they're both pretty fast rush shivs, but Mongols even more so. Yeah, definitely going to be interesting. I'm expecting Fire to maybe do a little bit better, uh, just judging, not judging by the map, of course, uh, but Riot, just looking at it, his map's absolutely horrible. He's got a good chance there to do some damage, because of course his map's going to mean he has to play aggressive. Mm. So if he gets ahead in the moment, he should be alright, but I don't know, yeah. we'll have to see how that one plays out. should be very close, though. They both have got forward golds, so, yeah, gold positions for both of them a little bit rough, but I mean, they're going to go scouts anyway, you can pretty much guarantee that. And, uh, well, Riot actually um, taking the wood in the back, it's so far from his town centre. If he gets caught out there, like with archers or something, if, uh, for instance, the Viper decided to flush as well, he is just going to be in a terrible position. So at the bottom of the map, though, Cab and uh, Bajofro, I mean, what are you thinking about that? I'm thinking Batchofro probably going to be the stronger feudal player here, but if Cab gets a chance to wall himself in, which it looks like he's going to, judging by the house wall next to his wood already, uh -huh. uh, I think that he's going to be able to hold off Batchofro, because as we've seen, especially in the last game, he's an amazing defensive player, yeah. uh, not to mention at holding positions. So I think yeah. he might be able to hold it. It's just going to come down to how heavy Batchofro comes down on him. Yeah, well, he's going to have an easy wall across the front here. The problem is his gold spot is just horrible. It's just totally in the middle of that hill. And uh, Bad Jofro could tower it if he came really aggressive. Uh, he could also just, you know, to prevent uh, Cab from getting on the gold at all if he just parks some archers up here. Uh, I mean, Chinese versus Mayans. Uh, I love the matchup of Chinese versus Mayans, but... Um, Really, I kind of prefer it when it gets to the Castle Imperial Age, because that's when it gets really interesting. Uh, we'll see what they do here. 6.30, though, and we're going to keep it out for Drushing now. And we see a barracks coming down for Bajofro. Nothing for Cab. Uh, nothing for Riot, and no barracks for Fire either just yet. So, we're going to have Drush on the bottom. Yeah, Fire luring in a lot of deer, though. It looks like he's going to be using that Mongol hunt bonus definitely uh, here to just get a little bit of an advantage because at this point in the game, like we said, this is the last game in the series, guys. Every advantage here matters. Yeah, and he's not going to miss the chance to take those deer. They're quite close to his TC, nothing obstructing them, really. Uh, so it's a very easy lure for him. And, you know, he's going to do a really nice feudal time. Yeah, he's already up, and obviously that's just going to help him out even more. Riot, on the other hand, while well, he's still Dark Age, in fact, he's having a pretty bad Dark Age by the looks of things. Um, <laughs> just getting the food now, and look at the difference in timing there. Um, Fire's on about uh, 35%, and Riot is on 7 So, you know... He's going to be able to defend with a spear, I think, if he gets a quick barracks up now. But uh, for fire, definitely going to have a little edge there. At the bottom of the map, yeah. though, the Drush coming in soon, and we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, how many militia is he going? That's my question right now. Well, uh, I Three by the looks of it, because he hasn't taken any gold yet. Yeah, I think he's going to just go three. I mean, mine's going to have a decent Drush. It, I think as well here, Bad Joe Fro 
Not got the uh, best map with his gold being out there, but he could also wall if he wanted to. I mean, he's walled across the front, and he could wall this back area quite easily at the wood. Uh, and then it's just a case of taking the gold there. So I don't know if he's going to try and fast castle with this. I, I think it's a bad decision to do it. I think he's better off yeah. playing some feudal pressure. But uh, we'll see what he can do with this rush at the moment, and uh, see if he can make that pay. Yeah, definitely going to be the big call there to see if it does pay off for itself. The thing I'm looking at the most is, though, trying to figure out what's going to come up in the top corner here. Because if Fire does put pressure on Riot, he's going to be in a lot of trouble, because, of course, he's going to get pushed off that wood straight away. If Viper fast castles and sends some knights in straight away, it might actually be game over for Riot. Yeah, we've seen before, you know, in a 4v3 situation, the 4 pretty much always gets the victory. So, I mean, I, it depends what Viper does. I mean, even if he plays aggressive with archers in the Feudal Age, it could work out. But he's gone up on 27 population, so it will be a fast castle from him. And uh, probably straight into knights or cavalry archers, depending, but I think knights most likely. Yeah, uh, we'll just have to see exactly how it does decide to go down here, because Viper, of course, could just go for a massive economy. Like, of course, not very likely, but still, things can happen. And, of course, this is a Tyrant game, and they're known for developing new strategies. Yeah, I mean, we've seen some really interesting stuff so far, this series, actually. Cap coming up with some interesting strats, especially that Mongol Cavalry Archer kind of yes. strategy we saw. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see something similar to that on, uh, on their team this time. But uh, I think with the Mongols on the flank, perhaps not. I think they're probably going to want to stay more normal. Uh, I do I think agree. though it depends on Jordan a lot here too. I mean Jordan could do a really nice castle time as well. Uh, bear in mind as what well, he's playing Mongols so that hunt bonus is going to help him do a yes. faster castle too. In fact he's already got the food and gold he needs to go castle now. Oh wow. And uh, well he's already further up to the castle at Feudal Age than Viper as well. So I mean it, it's down to, to uh, Jordan here to save for its ass I think. Yeah, definitely. Just looking at the maps, it looks like everyone's starting to wall in as well. Cab's done a pretty good job of it. He's got his last little X wall across yeah. his town center there, so we're going to keep both sides safe. Uh, looking at Doubt, he's already walled in the left-hand side of his base. Right-hand wall coming up. Mark it already, so fast castle from him. Uh, yeah. Viper, though, leaving himself completely open, as per usual. Oh, yeah. And... <laughs> Fire looks like he's leaving himself open as well, but on the flank there, I think he wants to just get so aggressive that, well, the best offense is the best defense, I guess. Yeah, I think he's aiming for that. I'm getting that feeling. Um, Jordan walling up a little bit now, but he's... Okay, I thought he was adding another stable for some reason. Um, you know, I think for Jordan here, if he got super aggressive and went two stables, could work out really nice. Um, of course, he's probably going to have the fastest castle time of the lot here. Doubtfully walled though and taking stone now, so we're gonna see castle and blooms Ooh. from him, I think. Definitely the way of the mines there to be doing that. Bachelor looks like he's gonna try and go for the same thing. He is going for blacksmith up now. He's just got one stone within his walls, so archery range coming up, so it could Ooh. be an option from him as well. Yeah, as I said though, like with that wall off for him, it was fairly easy. So, you know, it, it's gonna be the case where he will fast castle this. I'm getting that feeling, yeah, he will. And uh of course, now just going with the second archery range, so not not opting to take any stone this time, uh, which is fair enough. I agree. It could be really interesting. It looks like the riot keeping his wood really well defended. Uh, defended there, really interesting actually. I wasn't expecting him to be able to do that well with it, but with yeah. one single spear there, he's being able to fight fire off every time. Yeah, well, this is the thing in a team game. Um, you've got to be very careful going so so much into scouts because, you know, it's going to slow your castle time a lot. And in a 1v1, that doesn't matter so much because if your opponent's really defensive, then it doesn't matter if you're slow to castle because they will be too. But when the flank, uh, sorry, the pocket position players are going fast castle, whether you like it or not, you don't want to be caught in feudal with knights in your base. It's as simple as that. And that's why it's, it makes team games like a, a lot more... Um, but, 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 Play a lot more cautious, I suppose. Yeah, definitely, because of course, even spears don't do a lot of damage to knights, really. It's so hard to push them off. Of course, it's, it seems cost-effective, because they don't cost gold, but it's still population and resources going into it. And when you're building spears, that's resources that could be going into potential for villagers. Yeah, precisely, and it's just it's not ideal. Uh, <laughs> for here, trying to get his militia to do something. Cap building right out on the front with the archery blacksmith. And uh, is Cap actually fast castling here as well? I think he might be. Uh, yeah, he's going to go with a sort of fast castle here too. Uh, so, so far, Doubt, Viper, and Jordan up to the castle age. We're seeing two stables from Jordan. Get in there. <laughs> I, uh, I really wanted him to do that because, obviously, he's just going to be the lifeline to Rear at the moment. And he's going to be able to play yeah, definitely. right back. 
Viper going for the exact same strategy though, he's going for two stable knights, second town center on the way up for Viper. Jordan though, second town center, not coming up yet, so it looks like he's going to commit fully to knights here. Yeah, I think Viper here probably going to do maybe four or six knights and sort of see how it goes. Uh, obviously opting to get that TC up first means that he's spent less time gathering uh, food and gold, he's spent more time gathering the wood. But I think if we have like a Jordan, I don't think that second TC will be too long at the moment. Yeah, he's it's, it's putting it up now. Um, so they're doing pretty much identical strategy, which is no. kind of expected to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's looking... I don't know, it looks like Riot's about to be in a little bit of trouble here, but Viper, there to back him up, and uh, it mean, looks like, okay. yeah, Fire gonna be alright. Yeah, Fire. Yeah, Fire, sorry. <laughs> um, Riot coming in a little bit with some scouts, but yeah, as I say, Fire there. It's it's the perfect example of the pocket player just, you know, saving the, the skin of the flank. It's just kind of how it has to be. Because uh, obviously the flank player, if they don't rush, then they could end up being rushed and just lose everything. Um, especially in a map like Arabia when it's just so open. Yes. Um, Cap, looks like he's lost quite a bit up here, actually. Yes, um, definitely. Bajiofro taking a good victory by the looks of it. Tower on that gold from Cap, and uh, Cap defending with Skirms now. Slower to Castle as well, but in comes Slam with some knights, and he's going to help to save the day. Definitely could be an option, and how are we looking for fire? Fire, really not a lot in play at the moment either. Still, of course, only in Feudal Age, so Scout's are his only option right now, really. But, ooh, here we go. Batcher for really moving into this gold mine here for Cab. Yeah, Cab's pushed off, and I'm not surprised, really. He didn't have a huge army up here. Scams against Knights, well, we know what wins that. And uh, <laughs> Dap's trying to back him up with some plumes, which is totally... Uh, which is really great actually. Uh, it's really going to help him out. But I don't know how much he's going to commit to that. Uh, obviously, I think Knight's much more effective yes. than Plumes until you've got a good mass of them. Uh, as far as it goes, is raiding in our team games. Just Knights, once they're in their base, they do damage. As soon as you can get rid of them, they'll run to your ally. Yeah, exactly. And they're just much more versatile at the moment, I think. Though Plumes are just, for the Mayans, the only real option I feel because if they're, if they're yeah. gonna go they, they can't make knights because they're obviously me uh, meso civilization um, and if they go for eagles well I don't think the eagles are gonna work out many better anyway especially so in castle age yeah so they may yes. as well go for the plumed archers and transition into elite plumed archers later on uh, they just gotta get that mass up and once they've got enough it's the same with crossbows as well really yes. um, once you've got enough you can one-shot knights and stuff and you're okay Exactly, that's it. And you can just back yourself into a corner and just knights will just fall in front of you. There's absolutely nothing you can do against it without onigas or anything along those lines. Yeah, uh, not seeing a huge push or an advantage for either team at the moment on the flanks. I mean, Cab's kind of defensive on the bottom. Um, and then saying that, Fire's fairly defensive on yes, top, yes. but I don't think anyone's... Oh, they're saying that. Uh, Fire just lost quite a few archers there. I was just about to say, I don't think anyone's in such a bad position they can't come back from it. But both Fire mm -hmm. and Cab both building a tower now. Uh, well, they have both built a tower, which is obviously Yeah, Cab not a actually good thing. losing his, though, so being yeah. the main thing there. Not having a good time at all over here. Yeah, everyone else is castle, though, and Cab is the last one to go up. Uh, obviously, under a lot of pressure there, yes. and they're building quite a few skirms as well, just to help defend with. Uh, Riot now, obviously, with crossbow upgrade, uh, fire waiting for that to come in as well. And for Riot, I think he's pretty glad that he's uh, right outside, sitting outside of Fire's base at the moment, because he'd rather be sitting uh. outside of his than his own. Absolutely, Jordan there as well, helping to back him up. So it's done. A, they've done a really good teamwork actually as well. Because I think Riot would have said to Jordan straight out, "Listen, my wood's pretty bad. I kind of yeah. need your help to get in here." Exactly, and they're uh, pushing in together now. They're in. Uh, but, Ooh. you know, good good walling by Ritz, uh, sorry, fire so far. Obviously, the crossbows can fire over that, though. And, uh, well, they could take the palisade down pretty quickly, too. And uh, Viper is, is here to help out. The upgrades on the knights are identical. Uh, obviously, Riot has plus two attack and range on these crossbows as well, but he doesn't have anywhere near enough. And, uh, oh, dear. Jordan looking for Ooh. some villager kills, but he's out of position now. And, uh, Rick could end up oh, Viper going up. for the surround, but oh, pulling back. Yeah, didn't want to go for the kills. Interesting. Just pulling back. Interesting indeed. I don't know why he really went with that, but uh, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, playing really safe by looks of things. 
Well, it's the last game. I think they don't really don't want to throw anything away. Uh, Viper here with upgrade advantage now, plus two defense. Uh, but the Ooh, thing Cav is... in trouble in the bottom, though. Town oh, center coming up. No. Knights and crossbows yes. there could potentially be completely denied. Yeah, and it he's will gotta be. Go back. He's got to go back. Uh, the skirms here probably going to go down pretty quickly. But I don't know. Quite a few plumes here from Doubt. Uh, five plus two damage, of course. Going to do quite a bit to those knights. But, you know, it's 2v1 almost <laughs> with uh, Cap not really contributing a whole lot to this fight mm. aside from a big few fire going down uh big fight going down at the top of fire's base there sorry it looks like right has transitioned into cavalry archers and yep. they've taken that hill there gonna push them right back inside fire's base makes sense and you know what it's looking pretty good right now for tyrant b they're keeping the pressure on they've got uh, both cab and fire right inside of their base at the moment just you know struggling to push out and i wouldn't say they've done huge eco damage but then neither has tyrant a so you know you you could say that at that point they are in a better position yeah i don't know like this one's still really up in the air for me i do feel like tyrant b is in a little bit of a lead here just because k cab is well cab is so out of it right now plus he had that town set and just denied for a while i know it'll be interesting no yeah exactly um okay interesting yeah i quite a large army here at the top Viper has a lot of knights and fire quite a few crossbows here too. Uh, if Jordan, they take this hill... Jordan really wants to raid at the moment. He really wants to raid, but he can't. They have to stay here and fight, otherwise uh, Riot's going to die. Uh, but surprising really that no one took the hill there. Viper's it looks like yeah, moving back to the hill at the back there, definitely a good move. Ooh, Viper could be outdone here for a few seconds before yeah, uh, Fire does come in to help out. Crossbows of Fire were quite late there. And Don't obviously, know if this Cavalry Archers on the Viper. hill. I think Jordan went into that with less knights, so it makes sense that he's um, not actually exactly winning. Uh, but poor Riot on this hill, um, two on one now. Got to deal with the knights quickly before he can retreat. And <laughs> camels coming in. I absolutely love the way the camels walk. They just look Ooh. so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they've funny. taken the hill. There yeah. we go. They've got that hill. Good little victory for them, but I can't help but feel that Viper lost more than was necessary there. Definitely. The crossbows came into the fight very late, and Viper's going to lose the rest of those knights now. Yeah, there they go. Um, for Riot... Uh, not Riot. Fire? He's got a good amount of crossbows, but I still, yes. again, feel that, you know, Cavalry Archer, they do beat the crossbow. And, you know, if he's just got an equal amount or more, then the victory is his, as long as he's not attacking uphill. Yeah, exactly, that's it. They do lack one range compared to the crossbows, but they've got a yeah. massive set of health. That's double what a crossbow has. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Although, you know, the base armor is the same, uh, but extra attack as well, of course, and extra Ooh, health. Slam potentially going to lose a lot of knights under the TC of Cav oh, over here now. Oh, man, he's got plus two Don't defense. Don't know if it's a bad though. engagement or not. Like, there's a lot of knights there and a lot of plumes, but under the TC... Well, that's the thing. Doubt's going back, but he's going back to his Ooh. castle, so... Slam, you need to get out of there. Uh, but obviously, Slam right now is so tired. He's probably not even noticed. He's probably just, like, asleep at his keyboard or something. Yeah, it looks like it. He's going to lose a few knights there for free. That's his third one down there. Going to run under the town center as well. Yeah. But, um, but you know, he's got bloodlines. got plus two defense. Oh, it's all good. Another knight uh, for gone. now. Oh, and another. Another two knights. Not good at all. But Slam having an impressive amount of knights on the field, actually. Yeah, it really is. Um, Fire and uh, Viper really holding this hill very well. A lot of camels from Jordan, though, and quite a few cavalry archers from Riot. You know, pure counters to this. Uh, obviously, camels to counter the knights, and I suppose cavalry archers to counter the crossbows. It's uh, pretty damn close, actually. But Cab's still yeah, very much out of this at the moment. He's really relying on Doubt to back him up, and, well, let's see if anyone's up to imp yet. Doubt. Uh, Doubt is Doubt on the way up. Ooh. That could be interesting if he starts throwing down a bunch of barracks. Well, he's not been raided. Because Slam is not walled in yet, and either is Riot. Yeah, you're right, actually. Um, and it looks like, yeah, Battery of has broken down his walls at the back as well. And at the front of the mining camp. I don't know, though, if he's got enough of an eco to go straight into um, Eagles, though. I'm kind of feeling at the moment he's putting up that second castle. I'm pretty sure he's going to go with plumed archers. Uh, but what about the other... Do they have... No. Yeah, the other mine player, Bad Jofra, of course, not going to be going up to the Imperial anytime soon. He's too busy fighting on this, uh, on this flank here. Yeah, Meanwhile, very interesting from both players, but still, Siege Workshop down on the top of the hill now. Could potentially see some Manganels out of there to try and do some damage. 
Let's have a yeah, look. Top of the map, looking like uh, it's it's good for Viper and Fire because they've got the hill, but I don't think their yes. army is going to stand up to this. Battering Ram actually coming out, so potentially going for building kills now and to soak up damage from the cavalry archers. Really interesting. Yeah, probably. Oh, Jordan, careful. Losing a couple of camels there for nothing. That was uh, a little bit messy. Uh, this is a really tough engagement to get. I mean, Jordan really needs to go for the, the knights here and Re really needs to go for the crossbows. It's as simple as that. Uh, but looking good at the south of the map, uh, poor old uh, okay Cap. He's got nothing at the moment. Uh, he's got knights in his base, crossbows as well, losing a lot of villagers down here. And doubt might yeah. be him, but he's not got a lot of units at the moment to upgrade. That battering ram, though, going to be the thing, because this is a potential for just military production kills now, which is definitely going to hurt him, because he's going to have to rebuild that, and it's going to really slow him down on the cavalry archer production. Oh, yeah, it's going to hurt him a lot, actually. And, you know, I think, really, um, Riot in a, I don't know, a little bit of a tough spot. Obviously, fire taking those military productions down, as, as you say. And, uh, you know, if he loses those, he loses his cavalry archer production for a bit. He needs to rebuild them. Uh, but obviously now Doubt Imperial, Jordan 23. Yeah, Slam Imperial. just lost a lot of knights outside his base there under that TC of cab there. Lost a lot. And it looks like the crossbows from Pat going to be pushed back by the plumed archers as well. Yeah, plumed archers just so strong. Um, at the moment, though, you know, uh, Slam's also imp as well. And I think that's more... Oh, no, Viper as well. Uh, it's hard to say. I think... More people from Tyrant um, B are going in for the moment. Fire snipes the mangonel of right there before it even gets a shot out. Camels uh, running into the fray. Massive it, attack going on. This those is a camels big fight. have a lot of trouble with those crossbows there. Well, Mangonel's yeah. Doing great against the cavalry archers. That's the thing. Losing a lot of camels to the crossbows. Fighting under that TC. Focusing fire on that uh, mangonel Ooh, though. Battering Rams. Rams going, going in fire. The TC, the TC is probably going to go down if they can't hold this one. Yeah. That is really nice. Another Mangonel coming in, and there's just so many knights and so many crossbows. They can break the TC with just knights alone at this point. Riot gonna lose that one. Gonna lose so many villagers now. And look at the bottom. Monks from Cab at the moment taking a lot of conversions. Doubt uh, the plumed archers on the hill dealing with the knights like it's e like it's just nothing. And the TC goes down at the top. This could be so bad for wow. Tyrant B now. Yeah, Viper up to Imperial now as well, which means of course we're gonna see Cavalier along the way. Then oh, no man. doubt for Paladin. How's he doing for resources, actually? This is really nasty. Uh, Pretty low. Let's have a look. Cavalier anywhere. Tyrant A could really take this if they push this, uh, if they keep yep. this momentum. Badger for his Imperial now, though. And, Ooh, uh, another TC, though. About to go down for Slam. There we go. For Slam? Wow. Yes. Just lost it on the gold pile there. Mm. Oh, not for Slam, sorry. For Ryan. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> uh, that must have been like, What? Uh, but yeah, I mean, that Cavalier upgrade for the Viper, literally about to come in any second now. Charging at those Cavalry Archers. Uh, but meanwhile at the bottom, Bad Geofro is pushing in with Slam, who's already done that Cavalier upgrade. Looking pretty good for them. They really want to push forwards now. And it's only Doubt holding here. And it's, they're not holding very well. They've not really got much military here at all. And they've both I got agree. elite plumes. It's going to come down to who can do more damage on which side, and it looks Again. like White is definitely the worst position now. But saying that, look at the scores. Cab, what's going on? Wow, he's so, so down at the moment. Bad Joffre raided him like crazy early on, and, you know, he's just been under so much pressure. But meanwhile, uh, you know, uh, Riot and Jordan23 are getting pushed back so hard. Oh, the amount of Cavalier coming in for Viper right now. And Riot's just, like, got nothing left either. He's got these few Cavalry Archers, that's it. And, uh, yeah, Paladin for for the Viper's got to be on the way soon, surely. Um, just check where you're at, by the way, because I'm at uh, 38 minutes exactly now. I'm at 38.02, so we're pretty close. Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, heavy Camel done for Jordan, though. Ooh, interesting. Well, those crossbows are there to back him up, he'll be alright. But... Oh, I don't Ooh. know. I don't know. Viper gonna take huge losses there. And the crossbows, yeah, they're gonna do a lot of damage, but Viper lost a lot. And I don't know. This could be the turnaround now for uh, for Tyrant B. The, Paladin, 15% push... on the way, though. Lots yeah, of camels being taken down by those crossbows as well. True. The push at the bottom for... Uh, for these guys, for Bad Geofro and Slam being held back just by Doubt at the moment. And that Doubt one castle. Like an absolute champion right now, defending the master. Oh yeah, he is. Um, but man, I don't know, this push at the top looks like it's going to get sent back. 
as well. No, it's just not those crossbows, good. they just do not have a pat, like enough punch to take on Imperial Age units. No, they're, they're lacking that, definitely. Uh, I think the cavalry archers from Riot gonna go take them down. Obviously, the camels from Jordan 23, excellent choice, but raiding coming in a bit from uh, the Viper with the cavalier now. Uh, getting a few village kills back there, and Doubt's still holding this hill. Well, I can't believe he's doing that by himself. The good news is, though, for Fire, that that push that he did with the crossbows has given him more than enough time to get his third castle up and, well, just about up and going. Mangadai on the way, so he could be in a really good spot here yeah. for a counter push. Interesting thing here is that even Cab is Imperial now, and, uh, and Rhea is the last to go up to Imp. He's not clicked up yet. So, you know, he's really not contributing massively to this fight, but he is still adding in the Cavalry Archers, which is the important thing. I know they're not in Fire <laughs> walling in the trade line, taking a list out of Batch of Rose book. Sorry, I just had to interrupt <laughs> you there. Where, 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 where? <laughs> Fire walling where? Oh! Uh, what's the top? <laughs> Trading up. Oh my god, that's brilliant. He's just like, get out of here, Ria. Get out of here, you're not welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting, my, uh, putting my wall here. Viper's got Paladin now, though. And there's a lot of them. So many Mangadai coming out for fire as well. It's looking pretty good. Hasn't gone elite yet, but still Mangadai on their own. Very, very strong units. They are. I think, you know, again, it's looking like a really close game. Bad Geofro and, uh, and Slam, though, huge push at the bottom now. They're forced out right back. And uh, Cab, again, nothing at the moment to really contribute here, um, unfortunately for him. And uh, obviously, yeah, these uh, plumed archers are going to get cleaned up, and they can push in with Siege and uh, and take it. But look Just at looking at Cab's base at the moment, there, there's no way they can go up against this. Viper's there to help, sure, with a few units, but just look at the amount of Cavalier there, the amount of plumes and trebs to back this one up. Cab Actually, is going to lose need. this. Yeah, Cab's going to get pretty uh, pretty battered here. Doubt as well, though. Not a huge amount of plumed archers at this stage. They're really lacking that mass. And this is the difference here. Um, like, Rhea at the moment... Just about to lose another town center. I don't know what he's yes. xing. Oh, he wants markets. Um, Rhea at the moment... Sure, he doesn't have the best eco in the world, but at least he actually has some army. Or he did have some <laughs> army. Where's it gone? What? <laughs> Uh, it's towards the right-hand side there, getting chased down by Paladins though, don't know how long it's going to last. It looks yeah. like Viper coming in for a pincer as well. Wow. I was going to say, at least he's got some army, but... Not for long. <laughs> mm. Those are fully upgraded Paladins now, fully upgraded Hun Paladins. Cab though, look at his base, it's just about gone. It's wrecked, it's absolutely wrecked. And uh, so many elite plumes there, and so many Chukonus. We've seen how powerful these yes. are before. Like, you know, just the Chukonu and the plumes, just taking out Paladins so easily. Uh, they just, uh, I don't know, it's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good down there. Fire, though, a lot of elite Mangadai am out in play right now, and it looks like he is coming down to help out with Cab. Oh, yeah, he's coming down, but I don't know. Is he going to be too late? Is it, what's, what's the deal? I think I mean? it's too late and too little, honestly. But then again, Viper's there as well, so if he just kind of takes yeah. out the trebuchets... Like, they're all there at the know. moment. They just need to, to coordinate and attack, Ooh. really. A massive like forward by Slam as well that just got X'd on the map there by Fire. Yeah, I feel at the moment, though, as well, like, Rhea is just getting so cleaned up at the moment. He cannot stand up to these Paladins. And Viper doesn't have to spend too much here to just push this. And obviously there's a few heavy camels from Jordan, but if it, if Fires keeps pushing in with him, I think they've got a very easy chance of, of sending that backwards. The real question yeah. here is if they will they send this back at the bottom? Will they push it right back? And it looks like they will. The Paladins from pa uh, Viper forcing them back a wow. little bit now. Uh, so Definitely some Rams being out. mixed in there as well. And how are we looking over here? Mangadai wow. on the way. Might be able to cut them off. Could potentially kill off a lot of this army if the Mangadai get in the way. Yeah, wow. Actually, Viper here. Just cleaning up a little bit. Um, of course, back Bajofra retreating to that hill. But uh, Slam's army completely destroyed. And uh, Doubt just pushing in again with the plumed archers now. Just to take the hill. And uh, it looks like Viper as well bringing down some paladins now as well. Just to, I don't know, maybe just finish it off. I don't know. Yeah, the one I'm looking at, though, is just Tyra B. They have no gold. They've yeah. actually got nothing. They can't get their trade set wow. up because Fire's walled it in. Viper's sitting on that side of the map just killing anything that comes up. And if you look at it, they're all under, like, 200 gold at the moment. Yeah, that's nasty, actually. They're trying to get trade up here on the bottom of the map, but I think Viper and, uh, and Doubt realize now, hey, 
This is so open. Um, where else are they going to trade if they block this in? Um, and the answer exactly. is they're going to trade at the bottom here, and they're already there. So I don't see. I don't honestly see how Tyrant B are going to hold this off. Yeah, exactly. Up against like Mangadai and Paladins, it's nearly impossible to hold off without gold. When you stack just elite plumes on top of that as well and siege ram, you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Fire's getting a bit pushed back here by uh, Jordan now. But Viper's yeah, Paladin's there. coming in from Viper, they're ready to hold it out. Long as he can deal with those elite cam uh, the yeah, heavy camels with the hmm. elite Mangadite, it should be okay. Yeah, I think and Here we go. Okay. Uh, the top should be interesting. Um, I think, yeah, Paladin's gonna come out on top here for sure, especially with the Mangadite behind them. There's no question about it. Jordan getting cut down. You know, Jordan, if he's not got gold, how is he gonna get the Mangadite mass up that he needs? He's not. And it looks like Tyrant A might actually take this game. And you know if they take this game, that's going to be 6-all. 50-50 <laughs> split. Yeah. Everyone's which is, happy. <laughs> which is just crazy, really. Uh, the funny thing oh, is man. here, look, they're trading with uh, Fire's Markets. <laughs> Fire has just left his markets oh, there. Wow. They built theirs down here, and they're like, oh, thanks, Fire. We'll trade with your markets. Fire's not deleted oh. them. I'm sure they're going to come up and build theirs eventually, but until then... <laughs> Just trade with yeah, his. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this uh, castle going down to arrow fire alone by the looks of it. There we go. And uh, wow. they're getting pushed right back now. Again in the top, getting pushed right back. But Riot's into the trade line a little bit with some hussars looking to do some raiding. Uh, doing a good job there. I can't believe Fire's left his markets up. Out though, up against his biggest enemy here with Bachelor for he does have a hill to climb, and we'll see exactly how long it takes him to do it oh soon. Oh god, yeah. Doubt and his attacking uphill. Not exactly the best, but we do have a lot of siege rams here in play. And the amount of skirmishes at the moment from Cav as well, absolutely fantastic to push uphill with. Oh yeah, I mean, considering, you know, he's been in a pretty tough spot, he's really got quite a lot of skirms out, and he's really helping as much as he can. Uh, really well done, but you know, the Chuko new here, the Rams just getting cut down so quickly, they need Trebs, not Rams. I definitely agree, but there's a Treb on that hill now, and it looks like they're on a probably even ground, so slowly getting there, and they're slowly pushing against that plumed ar uh, archer number as well. Yeah, I think they really should try at the moment. And, uh, and just hold that hill as best they can. Um, of course, try and bring them some repairers to these uh, castles. But, I mean, the ramps are just useless. The Juko New taking them down in seconds. They're not even going to reach the castle. And meanwhile, Tyrant B just raiding the eco of uh, these guys so much. That's all the plumes, though, gone for Batshirfro. All of them have just been killed off. Huh. All that's left is Juko News to get through. Wow, they're getting there eventually. Uh, exactly, more plumes coming in from Doubt as well, and he had some on the hill he wasn't even using yet. Man, there's so many. But no, they need to take this castle down though before they can push in. I mean, they're sitting at the bottom of this hill, the castle's absolutely owning all of their units, the Chuko New uh, just having a good time as well. Just chilling, taking out <laughs> some rams here and there, I love it. But yeah, there's exactly. only a single trebuchet out on that hill at the moment trying to deal with those. Yeah, and I feel that's way too late. Uh, only, yeah, Doubt's saying now we only need, we only got one Treb, and they're like, we need more than one, and it's like, yeah, why have you built, why have you built so many Rams then, Doubt? <laughs> Obviously not so useful at all, I think these guys are going to hold there, not a problem uh, at all. Uh, at the north of the map, Viper looking good over there, uh, taking down uh, Riot really easily, and, you know, Riot's just in a bad position at the moment all round, really, he's not got much eco at all. Yeah, exactly. The good thing here is, though, that Doubt has managed to start a massive push here, which has freed Cab up, and from that, he's been able to build up his eco a lot behind this, actually. If you look, he's spread right out over the map, and from that, he's being able to actually help with these pushes now. It may not be the biggest amount of units in the world, but the fact is, there's units there, and they're doing something. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's uh, skirmishes. At least they're an actual counter to what's being thrown out by Slam <laughs> exactly. and Badger at the moment. Uh, Mangadai here dealing with the Rams pretty quickly. Good stuff there, but yeah. You need more Trebs in there, guys. Doubt finally bringing the Treb over. Uh, they realized Ooh, that was quite late. that's a lot more Trebs on the way, actually. Ooh. How many more is a lot more? Uh, another five. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Uh, I don't even see them, but yeah. Setting up more around trebs. the siege workshops now. Oh, I see, yeah, okay. So this castle is going to go hill, down. One more. These Nowhere castles near. are going down like no tomorrow. Look <laughs> at the amount of rams there as well. Yeah, nowhere near enough uh, Chuko New to hold that. Nothing from Bad Jofro here, nothing from Slam here. And uh, meanwhile at the top, 
um, Viper and um, and the Fire are pushing in okay, but I still feel like they're getting a little bit outnumbered. It's just that Riot just can't keep production up. So it's literally, exactly. it's literally like once Riot's dealt with, in a sense, it's Viper and Fire versus uh, Jordan 23, and then no one to stop Doubt and and uh, Cap pushing in. Exactly, this side just is going to get swept by now. And look at that, Castle's going down for Bacho Throw, not going to be good at all. As soon as, well, the hill has been taken already. They're already up there. That's it, it's GG. Ooh, it's over. It's over. 6-6. Six, six. Tyrant A, going to take the final game here. So well played by them at the end, denying all that trade, it seemed. Uh, they had so little trade at the end there. Uh, but very well played by all of them. Ending in a tie at six oh. games to six. Can you believe that? A tie between the team. Tyrant A and Tyrant B proving to be just as good as each other. Wow, really incredible stuff. Uh, just great games all round. And uh, they will...